So glad you could join us again today. It's Politics Today on Channels Television. I'm Charles Eruka. Well, your regular host, Emana Amawe, is unavoidably absent today, all in a bit to keep us abreast of events unfolding in the very busy world of politics. She was out earlier to cover a protest at the Ogba area of Lagos, staged by an aggrieved group of the All Progressives Congress about events leading up to the APC local council primary elections. However, that protest was broken up by the police who fired tear gas to disperse the protesters. Unfortunately, Emana was in the thick, thick of things and got more than we bargained for. So she's recovering from that ordeal. But talking about that protest, recall that the Lagos State Independent Electoral Commission, LASIEC, had on April the 7th announced that it would conduct elections into the 57 local governments and local council development areas of the state on Saturday, July the 22nd, 2017, while runoff and rerun elections will be conducted on Saturday, July the 29th. However, a section of party members from Aurelia Gege local government area today embarked on a protest alleging that the powers that be are attempting to impose candidates on them who do not reflect the popular will of the people. Now, when we, when we approached other parties' leadership in Aurelia Gege local government area on phone, of course, they said the agitators should direct their growls to the appropriate quarters instead of taking to the streets. Well, it did happen that uh, our correspondent was uh, caught up in that uh, event, that very unfortunate incident today, and she just unavoidably can't make it today and so well the show must continue and uh, in the f in focus is the letter transmitted by President Muhammad Buhari to the Senate to the National Assembly as a whole uh, informing them that in his absence the Vice President Professor Yemio Shimbajo will be coordinating the affairs of the nation while he'll be away well perhaps it is the use of the word coordinating that perhaps became an issue of controversy in the Senate. And that's what we'll be looking at today, the uh, absence of the president and the challenge of uh, leadership. Well, before we go into that, of course, we'll be having a legal perspective on that particular matter. And we're expecting in our Abuja studio the guest for the day, uh, Mr. Paul Ananaba, a senior advocate of Nigeria, to look at the legal perspectives and the constitutional implications of the president's absence and the uh, vice president running the affairs, whether running or coordinating or acting. It's a matter of semantics, but then, of course, where the law is concerned, language is very, very important. We'll be taking a look at that. But, of course, uh, we have... Uh, seen today a roundup of uh, various activities. We've talked about the situation in the Ogba area of Lagos, that protest. And in Kogi State, groups of youth, women, students, and political supporters from the Kogi West Senatorial District have protested over the continued detention of the administrator of Ijumu local government area. Mr. Taufik Issa, who was arrested in connection with the alleged assassination attempt on Senator Dino Melaye last month. The protesters gathered at the Kaba Township Stadium with placards calling on the state government to wade into the matter as it was unlawful for Honorable Issa to remain in custody without trial. They say the issue is turning out to be more of a political witch hunt. Let's take a listen. Women protesting in Kogi State last month in favor of their son, Senator Dino Melaye, over the alleged assassination attempt on his life. The incident produced a suspect, Mr. Tafik Isa, a local government administrator who was promptly arrested by the police. His supporters have also now trooped out to express their dissatisfaction over his detention, insisting he's a victim of political witch hunt. The demonstrators marched to the Kaba Stadium to articulate their concerns. My women, not be so! 
When do you want him released? No. This man feels a misunderstanding between two men from the same place should not lead to lives being threatened. Problem of two sons of the same parents, Dino and Taufik Isa. They are our children from Ijumun local government. They are our children from Gwede district. And they are the children of Kogi West. But in the very recent time, things have become shower between the two of them. To others, the detained suspect is someone who cannot hurt a fly, which makes the whole matter more surprising. Taufik that we know is a man that wants everybody to grow. Yes. Taufik that we know and we confirm is a talk and do leader. Yes. Taufik that I know is a man that will tell you this will happen and will happen. Yes. Taufik that I know has carried everybody along. As it stands, both Dino Melaye and Taufik Isa have people on their sides. But in whose favor the pendulum of justice will swing is what everyone is eagerly waiting to see.